Hey guys, Matthew here from Never Give Up, helping overwhelmed people find determination so you can have on-purpose results. Now moving forward, we've been sharing how to become a rock star provider and what that means. You know, when it comes to rock stars, you see them all the time on the stage and they're just great on delivering a great entertainment or a music uh, performance. And one of the things is what goes into becoming that rock star to put up the performance of a lifetime as they share for an hour or two hours on 20 songs or so, as they call it as a set, and they entertain you. We all have rock stars we love and we watch and we love their music because it hits us somewhere in our hearts. And the biggest thing is we don't look and stop and say, what does it take to become a rock star? A lot of us just see the after part, the big concert, the big entertainment. But it's the little in-between things that you do to become a great rock star. And that's what we're talking about when it becoming a rock star provider. What do you want to do in your life, in your realm of being a rock star? It doesn't matter if you're providing a service or if it's just being a great dad or if it's being a great mom. What does that look like and how does that feel? being that rock star in your life. So we're bringing these videos for that purpose is helping you as a provider because a lot of times we forget a coach needs a coach or a rock star needs a, a coach as well. They all have coaches around them. They have people mentoring them, teaching them stage presence, teaching them how to do certain things, how to dance, choreography. Everybody has teachers around them. If you don't, that's, that's something I would encourage you to do is look for teachers or individuals that can help you mold you. So today, the next video or the next concept I have for you is really exciting, it's my favorite. Keeping the vision alive, that is the next value that I have for you on how to become a rock star provider. So when it comes to keeping the vision alive, I've over the years, the last four years as an entrepreneur and years before that and many failures as an entrepreneur I've had and continuously as an individual in my life, it's just keeping the vision alive, saying as a father, as an individual, what is the vision that I have as myself? Who is Matt and where am I heading? What does I want for my life? How do I want to make impacts in my journey in my life? And what do I want to leave as a legacy for my kids? So keeping that vision alive, it's not about millions of dollars. It's not about making great fame. For me, in my vision, is making a difference. It's affecting people's life. Just like I said earlier, my whole goal is to help overwhelm people that they can find determination so that you can have on-purpose results. That is my vision, is to help you help yourself and just not take yourself so serious that life is gonna throw you a lot of curveballs. Things are gonna happen. As a young boy, I learned that very quickly. You know, growing up with a learning disability, I've shared that before, an intellectual disability where I read and write at a fourth grade level due to my intention deficit. And, you know, I got in a lot of trouble. You know, the teacher would say, go to the left of the gym, I'd be walking to the right of the gym. Or I would just couldn't focus. I hated school because it just didn't make sense to me. I remember them always telling me, hey, Matt, you just got to read harder. I didn't know what that meant. Hit myself with the book. So these frustrations, how does somebody like that that have had disabilities or frustrations and then just having a life, you know, that comes from that, you know, personally dealing with lots of anxiety over the years that come from that worry about things I can't control. Yes, you know, as a coach, even as I coach people, those are things I struggle with. So my question to you, you or I struggle with all sorts of things. It's just the human condition. I don't care what human beings in front of you, all of us have weaknesses and all of us have strengths. So again, how do we keep our vision alive? So the first and foremost thing I have for you is what is your vision? You have to decide what is it that you wanna do. For me, it's being me and accepting me for who I am. And my purpose is to share and teach because that is my vision. I don't care if anybody listens to anything. <laughs> I just need to teach, it's my purpose. It's my vision, it's my who, what makes me here on this earth is to be a teacher and, a sh and sharing. And number two, to cre keep your vision alive is, is just go do it. Because we think about things all the time and we want to start something, but we step back because of the fear of failure. At the end of the day, 
my whole life has been about failure. I flunked school so many times. I flunked a lot of things growing up and I failed at business a lot of times as well because it was just, I says, well, why can't I do it? And I'd run and do it and eventually I, f I fumbled into success. And that's something I, I, I really value on keeping a vision alive is just get out and do it. Nobody's going to help you. You have to get out and do it. I see a lot of my friends that are entrepreneurs and a lot of individuals I've coached over the years, they'll hold back until it's so late. They're finally, they start having an idea in their 30s and by the time they're 45, they're finally getting to it because they took so much time worrying about what others will think. Man, if I worried about what everybody thought of me, I wouldn't be making this video with you. Because, you know, I'm in an industry that's very judgmental. And they judge even though we're in an industry that we're supposed to be helping people around. So how do you keep a vision alive when you're in stuff like that? It's just being confident in who you are. And being confident that your message, regardless if they listen or not, hopefully it helps one person. Because that one person will turn into generations because they have kids and families. So that is the key here in keeping your vision alive is knowing why and knowing what it's going to take to do it and just go do it. That's it. And I encourage you as you really work this value, because this is one of my favorite values, is, and it's also been my most frustrated values, because when I was very young, I made all the mistakes. I thought people had to help me keep the vision. But I learned very quickly as I've got more gray hairs and stuff is this. My vision is my vision. There's only one mat. This is the mat. There's other mats named Matt, but I'm the only me. I have my own consciousness and being mindful of that is so important. So that's what I have for you. Continue to be mindful of you. Continue to know what your why is and what it's going to take you to keep your vision alive. Being a mother, father, or just a great son. And remember that you don't need to be so a, a rock star on this stage. A rock star in your own mind, that's all that matters. If you're a legend in your own mind, it's, that's all that matters. Go be great at what you are and what you do. If you are a, a school teacher, be the best school teacher ever. Inspire kids to learn. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Continue to be rock stars. Don't give up on those around you and yourself. And always remember, if you need anything, comment below, reach out. I'm here for you. And continue to just be rock stars out there. Love those around you. All right, guys, take care and God bless.